Everyone benefits from access to safe, well-designed, attractive green spaces. In open spaces you can do loads of things. You can do gardening, you can do physical activities, and you could just, you know, enjoy the uh, great outdoors. Well London is really about improving the health and well-being of people within this community. I'm from Groundwork and today we are here in the community day to just get people interested into the Well London projects that we're going to deliver here. See what people are already having, what they want to improve, what challenges they have to work with and then come up with a project plan with people, who local residents and see what we can do with open spaces that meet their needs. So the idea is that over the next few years we are uh, encouraging people to take better help, uh, care of their health and well-being, so be that physical or mental health, um, and kind of support and guide the community um, in, uh, in various ways to do that. We did consultations last year on, this, on the estate with local residents and lots of residents said that they wanted to get out of their flat and have somewhere to sit um, because they feel stuck in their flat and trapped. Our aim is to facilitate improvements to their open spaces and also to promote positive use of the spaces through a range of activities and events. We're actually looking at how we want to design it at the moment. The residents are coming together to look at how best it will serve the community and also looking at how we um, maintain it for the future as well, longer term. And also we're trying to get young people interested in uh, gardening and physical activities. It's about the residents, I think, claiming back what's theirs and making sure that their family, their children and people around can use it as it was intended to. And it became really apparent, like within this area, that there's very little, um, there's, a, there's an open space deficiency. So for the number of people that live here, there's not a great deal of open green space. Um, and one of the things that people were saying that they really, really wanted was an opportunity to be able to grow food. And so we started to look at what kind of a project we could deliver that would, um, that would enable people to engage more positively with the urban environment around them and give them an opportunity to grow food. This used to be uh, a disused tennis court. As far as I'm aware, it wasn't used for about 20 years. It's completely overgrown, um, well, completely fenced off, no public access. Well, when we picked up the keys on, uh, at the end of October, uh, the plot was still empty. It was, still, it was a shell with, um, you could see the ground of the uh, old tennis court underneath it. And so we've transformed it into um, a garden where people, local residents can grow their own fresh fruit and vegetables. There's 48 plots and over 100 people have access to this site. I thoroughly enjoy doing it. I didn't realise so much about vegetables because I don't usually eat vegetables. I've never eaten vegetables. But since I've been doing this, I've started to eat the vegetables again. It's great for them because for a lot of them, they didn't have that much knowledge about growing their own vegetables before. So they learnt about that process, that you don't have to go to the shops to buy everything. You know, I found that they were exchanging recipes and so on, and also getting to know each other just on that level. It's good for all the community to get together. The young ones, they love it. Yeah, especially when they're watering the plants, they like it. <laughs> I think it's a good idea for the children because usually they just go in the supermarkets, don't they, and they're all packed and everything, whereas now they see how they're grown, how you, you uh, plant them and how you pick them out. To show them that we should be eating um, homegrown food, not frozen stuff. You know, this grass never used to be here. I think they've done a really good job on putting a new one on. Flowers, never saw flowers here before. Right. You know, um, but yes, yeah, it does make a difference as well, and it makes you want to come out and, and socialise with people. To get everyone involved, everyone in the community together, and just to like enjoy each other's company. Well, London isn't only about improving people's health and well-being, but also bringing the community oh. together. You know, there were neighbours coming from quite close together, but hadn't really talked to each other or met each other properly before, so they were getting to know each other through a project like this as well. So it had mental and physical benefits. But it's been good to have been right at the start of this project and to see how well London are actually positively making a difference. People live on the same road, but they never meet anyone and they don't meet each other. And I think that what this has done is brought everyone together. It's really fantastic. Um, it can be a very simple, straightforward project to put together, which has a lot of benefits and can have some long-lasting benefits as well. The plot holders have just run with it and they've made it the special place that it is. It's 
it's beyond all my expectations how successful this garden is. And every, like you say, everyone who walks past thinks, wow, it looks, it looks great. And it does look great. Everybody should get involved with it, these sort of projects, if they can, because it is it's very enjoyable. It's amazing what's happened in just a few months. This is just a small bit of what can be achieved by World London.